The advanced availability configuration provides higher availability, reduces downtime, and supports rolling maintenance. It includes a background server, one or more standby servers, and one or more application servers. To reduce the single point of failure, each of these servers has a direct connection with the database. All these components communicate using an internal CA protocol. Advanced availability is the recommended configuration if you want to achieve the following in your CA-SDM deployment. A high degree of CA-SDM availability. CA-SDM servers are expected to be more independent and more resilient to failures. An availability to remove and return the CA-SDM servers to service without bringing down the entire CA-SDM installation. Minimal to no downtime during rolling maintenance. Some of the key activities we will be performing are Install CA-SDM on the background server Install CA-SDM on the standby server and Install CA-SDM on the application server Let us start by installing CA-SDM on the background server On the primary server, right-click on the setup file Select Run as Administrator to start the installation Select the language for this demonstration, we will select English. Click Next to continue. Select CA Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. This allows you to install the products such as CA Service Desk Manager, CA Service Catalog, CA Asset Portfolio Management, and Unified Self Service, which are part of the CA Service Management solution. Scroll down to review the license agreement and then select the option I accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next to continue the installation. In the database configuration screen, let us select SQL Server as the database. Database Server is the host name of the database server. Database Name specifies the database name of the target DBMS and its default value is MDB. Database port specifies the port identifier for the target DBMS. Database server instance is the database instance name. Database admin user is the admin user that has permission to create user and schema. SA is the default value. Database admin password specifies the database password for the specified user. If the MDB is already installed, the installer will use the same for CA service management. In this case, the MDB is not installed. Hence, you need to specify the password for the MDB admin user. Click Next to continue the installation. Select the Server Installation option under CA service management to install it locally. Click Next to continue the installation. Review the installation prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Specify the common administrator details. These details will be configured with the CA Service Management installation. The default value is CASM Admin. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Select the CA Service Desk Manager configuration type to Advanced Availability. For this demonstration, select the Configure Support Automation option to install along with this server. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager server details. Specify the Privileged User details. This allows the user to log into CA SDM. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Click Add Server to add the standby server details. Enter the server host name. Select the server type as Standby Server. Click Add Server to add the application server details. Enter the server host name. Select the server type as Application Server. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Select the Main Server option under the Configuration type. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Verify the pre-installation configuration summary. Click Next to proceed with the installation. 
Click install to start the installation. You have now set up the background server for CA Service Desk Manager. Click next to continue. Click finish to complete the installation process. You have now set up the background server. Let us now install CA SDM on the standby server. Right click on the setup file. Select run as administrator to start the installation. Select the language. For this demonstration, we will select English. Click Next to continue. Select CA Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. Accept the license agreement. Click Next. Select SQL Server in the Database Configuration screen. The database configuration details are specified here. Click Next to continue. You can observe the components of CA Service Management that are installed on the selected MDB. Click Next. Select Server Installation under CA Service Management. Click Next. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Click Next to accept the CA Service Desk Manager product configuration page. Click Next to accept the CA Service Desk Server Details page. Enter the privileged user password and confirm privileged user password. Click Next to continue. Review the pre-installation configuration summary and click Next. Click Install to start the installation. You have now set up the standby server for CA Service Desk Management. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation process. You have now set up the standby server. Let us now install CA SDM on the application server. Right click on the setup file. Select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language. For this demonstration, we will select English. Click Next to continue. Select CE Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. Accept the license agreement. And then click Next. Select SQL Server in the Database Configuration screen. The database configuration details are specified here. Click Next to continue. You can observe the components of CA Service Management that are installed on the selected MDB. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the Select the Products and Integrations page. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. For this demonstration, select the REST Web Services, SOAP Web Services, CMDB Visualizer and Federated Search option to install along with this server. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Click Next to accept the CA Service Disk Server Details page. Enter the privileged user password. And confirm the privileged user password. Click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the CA Service Disk Optional Components Details page. Review the pre-installation configuration summary and click Next. Click Install to start the installation. You have now set up the application server for CA Service Desk Management. Click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation process.